In today's video, we are going to be creating a 3D rotating text in After Effects. And without much further to do, let's get started with the video. In After Effects, the first thing we need to do is to create a new composition. Then I'll give it a name, the main composition. So I'll just call it main. And for the width, I'm going to set it to 1920. And the height, I'll set it to 1080, the full HD resolution. And for the color here, let me just set it to something bright yellow or something close to that. And I'm working with 30 frames per second. And for the duration, let me also change this to, let's say about three seconds, because this will be a very short animation. Then I hit OK to create it. I'm going to select my text tool. You can also press Command T for that. So with the text tool selected, I'm just going to click somewhere around here and I'll type in the text. And I'm going to type in the number three for that. With the text layer selected, I'll hold the Command key, or if you're on the Windows, that's the Control key. Double click on the pan behind tool here to position this anchor point at the center. Now, what we need to do next is that we want to make this text to be reusable. So now when we are done with all of the animation, we can easily edit the text to any text that we want. And to do that, we are going to be using the Essential Graphics tab. I'm going to go to Windows, then Workspace and I choose the essential graphics. Under the essential graphics here, I'm just going to click on this, go to text and then source text, drag and drop it in here and that's all we need to do. After doing that, I'm just going to go back to all panels, that's the workspace that I love working with. Then I'm going to pre-compose this text layer, so I'll just right click on it, pre-compose. And for the name, I'm just going to call it character and I hit on OK. Now I'm going to open the character composition, so I'll press Command K for that. And for the width, I'm going to set it to 250 by 250 and for the color i'm going to set this to black so i'm going to resize the text again to fit perfectly within the composition the reason why we're setting our composition to 250 by 250 is because we want to have a cube animation like i said 3d rotating cubes so having a composition which has a square resolution will be perfect for this next we need to add in a solid layer i can press command y then i'll hit on ok then bring this down. Another way to add in a solid layer is just to right click here, go to new and you will see solid. Now back to the main composition, we will see this our cube here. So to change this to a 3D shape, all we need to do is to click on this here. And now it's a 3D shape. And if you can't find all of these options here, you need to toggle your switches here. Now we have our 3D layer. What we need to do is first, we add a camera so that we'll be able to rotate in our 3D dimension. So I'm just going to right click, new, then go to camera. Allow everything as default and I hit on OK. And for the active camera, I'm just going to change this to the left view. So I'm going to click select the camera layer, press P, that's for position. Under the position, we have X, Y, and Z. So we are going to be working with the Z axis for this composition or for this layer. And for this, we are going to set this to negative 250 divided by 2. And the reason why we are using 250 is because we set our character composition to 250. So this will have a perfect alignment. That's why we're using 250. And stay tuned because we are going to do some little math throughout this animation. So I'm going to hit on OK and you'll see that you move it to this position. Next, I'm going to duplicate this layer by holding the Command Z key. Then I'll press P. For the Z axis, I'm going to set it to 0. And I'm going to press R. And for the X rotation, I'm going to set this to negative 90. And I'm going to press P again. And for this Y axis, I'm going to select it. Just move ahead. Minus 250 and divide it by 2. Now you see that this layer will be perfectly aligned at the top of this other layer here. And after doing this, all we need to do is to change this back to the active camera. And I'll select my camera tool. And when I rotate this, you will see how the 3D layers are perfectly aligned on top of another. So what I'm going to do is I'll select this bottom layer again and I'll delete it to create the other side. So I'll press P again for that for position and I'll change this X axis. Since I know that this is at this other side and I want it to be at this other side, I'm just going to remove the minus sign and I hit on OK and you see that it will be rotated to this other side. And there's something you can do if you're not working with numbers so that everything will be perfectly aligned. You will need to flip this duplicated layer. And to flip it, what we need to do is just right click on the character layer. Then you go up to transform and you flip vertical. Next, we are going to duplicate this other top layer here. Same thing, Ctrl Z to duplicate. Then press P. Now, for this Y axis, I'm just going to add in 250 to it. 
then same thing i'll right click on it go to transform and flip vertical now everything is looking good so we can go ahead and remove this camera layer because we don't need it anymore now we have all of the 3d shapes that we need to be working with and they are perfectly aligned on all of the axes that we want them to be for the animation we are going to be using the rotation property and we will add that to a null layer so to add in a null layer you can use the keyboard shortcut shift option command y or you simply just right click here go to new and then you will see null object which is very useful in after effects so we see that it's not at the center so i can hold my command key first double click on this that's a pan behind tool to put the anchor point at the center then go to the align tab and align this at the center of my composition and if you can't find this align tab here all you need to do is go to window and you go through all of these options you will see all of the panels that you need to work with you just click on it and it will show a tick here meaning it's active after adding the null layer what we need to do is set this to a 3D layer so everything is work on the 3D space. Then we can select all of the layers and parent it to the null layer. Now I'm going to press arrow that's for rotation. Set in the first keyframe for the X rotation. Move about two seconds ahead and set in the second keyframe. Then I move again ahead again and set in the third keyframe. For this keyframe here, I'm going to set the first value that's to negative two and then this other value to negative 10. And for this other keyframe, I'm going to set this to negative 2. Select all of the keyframes. Hit F9 to easy, easy keyframes. Go to my graph editor. And here, I'm going to make the animation to be smooth by pulling these handles inwardly like so and when i play this you will see how it is going to animate so you won't really notice the difference on how it's rotating and to adjust this what we need to do is go to the effects and presets and we're going to look for the invert effect drag this and, push and place it on top of this layer and same thing position it on top of this other layer so that we have some white and some blacks so when i play this you will now see some difference and some kind of effect we are done with the main animation of this effect now we need to pre-compose all of these layers to a single composition so that we can easily use this composition that we have pre-composed to add in another text and to do this we are going to select all of the layers right click again and go to pre-compose and this time around we are going to call it 3d character there's some other adjustment that we need to do we have to duplicate the 3d character and then we change the rotation value and i'll explain why so this is a 3d character composition i'm going to press command z to duplicate it then i'm going to open it select this null layer here press arrow that's for the rotation and for this second keyframe so i'm going to set this to positive value 2 and this should be at 10 and then for this last keyframe it should just be at the value 2 and that's all now back to the main composition i'm going to add this 3d character 2 and pressing p i'm going to move this the other way slightly like so and then i'm going to move this slightly around here and again since we want to have some kind of difference i'm going to add in the invert effect on top of the duplicated composition so that this will be white and this will be black and now we can change the value of this top layer very easily by just coming down here to the essential properties right click on this then go to edit value they will change this to letter d and hit on ok now when i play this you will see how it rotates you notice that the number three goes the opposite direction and the letter Z goes the opposite direction, rotating the opposite direction. That is because I duplicated the 3D character and then I changed the rotation of the X axis from the negative value to the positive value. So it rotates in the opposite direction corresponding to the number three. I want to add in more animations to these two layers. But first I'll set it to a 3D layer and then I select the two layers again. Press S, that's for scale. Set in the first keyframe for that, then move some frames ahead and set in the second keyframe. And back to the first keyframe, I'm going to set the value to zero. Then I'll select the keyframes, press F9 to easy, easy keyframes, go to my graph editor as always, and then I'll bring these handles in to create a smooth animation. So I'm going to offset this a little, so I'll offset it about three frames ahead. Then I'll add in a null layer again. I'll set the null layer to 3D layer, then parent these two layers to it. So this time around, I'm going to press P on top of the null layer, set the first keyframe for this, and somewhere around here, I set the second keyframe, and back to the first keyframe, I'm going to move this slightly to the left, select the two keyframes, press F9 to easy, easy keyframes, go to the graph editor, 
and I bring the handles inwardly. And when I play this, you will see the final animation, which is looking really interesting. And that, my friends, is how you can create a 3D rotating cube in After Effects. Go ahead and play with all of the options that I've shown you, and even change the values, manipulate it. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. To implement all what you've learned in the video and leave your feedback down in the comment section below, I will be there to always read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, keep editing.